Hi, welcome to the Digimasters channel for all your Digimon content. So, we're still in the Digimasters Trials 2 tournament and we'll be going into top 8. In this match, we have the, the first place player, David, playing Rookie Rush against the player who bubbled into top 8, Ruben, playing a deck with, uh, which is very close to my heart. Uh, the D Brigade deck I also played in the regionals of Europe of Tournament Center. He has um, little adjustments to it. And uh, yeah, also a fun thing to notice, this was also the match of the second round in the tournament, which we had some recording issues with. So it was very nice to have uh, a real recording of this match. Please note that these matches are edited after recording. So a thinking time, judge calls and other non-interesting stuff has been cut for your enjoyment. Enjoy! So we see at the bottom Ruben playing and he hatches the jewels into Commandermon and plays the boss Commandermon. Which is a pretty good turn one, of course. And David counters with uh, playing two Solomon. Ruben swings, Commandermon dies. And he finds a blocker commander one, which is yeah, like perfect here. And yeah, now you have the choice of swinging with a big commander one. Which you always should do it. He lives because he's, because he's 6k, so he lives against most things in Rook Rush. And we see a tie. But yeah, pretty good turns. Good first, second, two turns through for Ruben. And here you see the Salomon, you can freely block. And yeah, he doesn't die because of Tai. It's a 3k. But uh, yeah, Rukurish recovers the security, of course. And we see a Stormon, playing minus 2k. But yeah, again, thanks to Tai, the Commandermon lives. So here's another Stormon, and now the Commandermon does die. That was minus 5k, so we would need a lot of ties. See, another big Commandermon. It's evolving Dark Tyranamon. And it's evolving in. Um, yeah, I should have swung with the Commander Mon here. Or uh, if it evolved into a blocker, or I swing with it. Stormon's doing minus 5, but again, the tie saves it. It's, um, yeah, it's a thing that happens a lot. People tend to forget the tie. And the DP reduction, yeah, saves it. So now we see that Andermon going up, dissolving to a blocker. And we see a small command run being played. So yeah. We see a spiral masquerade. And the tie does a lot of work here because the Salesamon is now 7k, so he needs 3, and the small Commandermon is 4k, so you need 2 Digimon. So first, we see 3 for the Andromon, and another 3 for the Sealdramon. And now it's getting a bit hard because, yeah, Spyro's great is just too hard. You need a an ultimate flare or a Gardamon into Alteris to wipe the board, just not lose the game. And that's a uh, yeah, a big part of the Rukuris deck, of course. You have to build up, remove your opponent's blockers, and just swing for game, which can happen here already. You see the Silzermon recovers one, so even harder to lose the game himself. Swing and draw two. So one K into one K. 
Um, only three security lifts and possible four attackers. So yeah, storm on into Altris. That's when you need it in hand, not in the security. Tangramon. Shademon, which is pretty good, but of course the opponent has the needle spray. Spend the blocker and swing for game. That was a pretty fast game one. That's what Crush tends to do, of course. And well played by both players. So, Deep Gate gets to start again. They evolve into a two cost Commander Mon. It probably indicates that he has no other Commander Mon. And we see a tie. Um, yeah, the tie helps a lot against Rook Rush, otherwise, they just tend to uh, give you one memory every turn. You don't get to do a lot. So, tie prevents that. And the extra 1k, as we saw in the last game, helps a lot. Yeah, Spiral Masquerade in the Star Mons. The opponent plays a Lobmon, draw two cards. It's a very good card here, Rakuresh, to get some extra draw advantage. An Aurora Mon. Plays a Memory Choke, but the tie helps, of course. Now, thanks to starting a tree memory, you can also play your four cost Commander Mons. Put your opponent to one. Um, again, I think you should have swung with the commander mon here. It can die and you also give your opponent a target to swing into, which is an attack less on your security, of course. Yeah, spell uh, needle spray and the stormman. So now the tiger is a 4k. You can swing into it with Aurormon. Yeah, I think we even gave the Rukurish deck maybe a lot too much memory. See a Metagoruman being, being hard cast. So yeah, not, no good draws for him. No ultimate flare, no Alteress. Well, Now a spell masquerade can kill the, the yeah, just everything. Plus four for the Metagormon and two for the Commandermon. And I think this is already game or yeah, you need something crazy. Blocker can yeah, blocker won't even help. There's seven attackers. Air security one blocker, so yeah, that should be game. If of course nothing special is in the security. Use a Corman to give minus one K to Commander Mon, so yeah, you don't want to block that. They'll block a, a Storm one or another one K. It's only the Storm one now. Block that one, send a commander mode to lifts and security. And no ultimate flare security, so Rukush simply wins the game. Pretty fast match, and yeah, that's the way Rukush rolls. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Later rounds of the regionals will be uploaded later this week on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing them. And I would also like to thank our sponsor, TCG Shop, for providing us the boxes and singles needed to participate in these tournaments. Be sure to check them out in the link in the description if you're interested in cheap Digimon boxes or singles. And I would love to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.